What's up, Kids Life? Welcome to our brand new series called Culture Champions. In this series, we're going to be exploring some key characters and how they built the early church and the roles they played in spreading the message of Jesus to the very first Christians. The church we see today was built on these incredible men and women laying down their lives so that the life-giving message of salvation through Jesus could reach the entire world. Doesn't that sound awesome? Yeah, it does. But first, it's game time. This game is called Guess What? To play this game, you're gonna need a bunch of random objects from around your house. You'll need a blindfold and a partner. What you're gonna do is one person's gonna blindfold themselves and the other person's gonna grab a random object and place it in front of the blindfolded person. The blindfolded person then gets five seconds to touch and feel the object and then hands off. Once hands are off, the blindfolded person gets three guesses to guess what they just touched. We're gonna give you three minutes to play this game and to see how many you can guess correct. Ready? Three, two, one, go! that that was a spider. Yes, you got it. That literally Ooh. just fell off my head. I don't wanna touch it. Good Ooh. timing. Mm. Time's up, kids life. I hope you had fun. Step one. <laughs> step two. And then shuffle. And oh, what was step three? Oh, one, two, shuffle. Oh, 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 I'm sorry, game oh. cancel, Oh, oh no. that's okay. I, I didn't see you there. I was just getting groovy with the tunes. Oh. Camp counselor, Andy. Wait a minute. Are you practicing for the camp dance-off? I sure am, Camp Counselor Marty. I've been up, uh, I've got some killer moves lined up and I can't wait to nail them. Mm. Why, what, what are you doing? Oh, I'm also practicing for the camp dance-off. In fact, I just signed up 20 minutes ago. Well, I know that you've been to Boy Scouts, but can you do this? <laughs> Yeah? Well, I know that you've been to golf camp. 
Do they do this? You don't care for Marty. Oh yeah? Well, you're lucky it's library story time where I dance circles around you. Well, let's see what Mrs. Bobbyfield has to say about that. <laughs> Oh, she's over here. Oh, hello, campers. So how exquisite is Camp Kids Life, then? Even when you're at summer camp, though, you take time to visit my library. Such a blessing. Well, I'm not sure I'm any good at judging dance battles, but it does look like our counselors could use a story, and that I can do. Are you ready, Kids Life? Grab your sunscreen, grab your beach balls. Let's get into the word. While Paul was on one of his journeys to spread the gospel throughout the world, he traveled through a city named Corinth, where he met a married couple named Priscilla and Aquila. They were tent makers just like Paul, so Paul decided to stay in Corinth and work with them for a while. Paul spent much of his time in Corinth preaching and teaching many of the Corinthians, including Priscilla and Aquila. Paul and the couple became such good friends that they joined him when he left Corinth and set sail to Syria. When they reached the city of Ephesus, Priscilla and Aquila stayed while Paul continued on. One day, a young man named Apollos arrived in Ephesus, where Priscilla and Aquila were living. Apollos loved God and was passionate about preaching and teaching God's word. He was well educated, but he was young and unfamiliar with parts of the gospel message. When Priscilla and Aquila heard Apollos preaching one day in the Jewish synagogue, that was a Jewish place of worship, they recognized his love for God and his gift of speaking and teaching the word of God so boldly. They also recognized that he needed further instruction so that he would be more successful and could do everything that God had planned for him. Priscilla and Aquila saw that there was something special about Apollos and they invited him into their lives and they took the time to instruct and encourage him in the ways of the Lord. It was Priscilla and Aquila's assistance to Apollos that strengthened him and ultimately blessed the whole church. Priscilla and Aquila were very helpful people. They didn't wait for someone else to come along or for someone to tell them to do the right thing. They saw what needed to be done and they did it. Councillor Marty, could you imagine if everyone was like Priscilla and Aquila? Yeah. Everyone would be so encouraged. Mm. Hey, speaking of encouragement, those dance moves you did back there, they were something. Really? Yeah. Councilor Marty, I was going to say something about your dance moves. Really? Hey, you know when you did that wave thing by the snack shack? That was pretty neat, huh? Well, you know what, Councilor Marty? I can, I can show you that dance if you want. If you'll show me your, your cool jump one. Oh, this one? Oh, yeah. Hey, Councilor Andy, what if we competed together on a dance team? Like choreography? <laughs> Whew. Exactly like a choreography. Wow. Man, if we work together, we're gonna rock this camp. It's gonna be perfect. Wait a minute, Counselor Andy. Perfect. Perfect. Isn't that in our new memory verse? It is, Marty. Hebrews chapter 12, verse 1 to 2. And let us run with endurance the race that God has set before us. We do this by keeping our eyes on Jesus, the champion who initiates and perfects our faith. Councilor Marty, mm. we have some young campers to out dance. Let's go. Let's go. Helpful people see what needs to be done and do it. And they're constantly looking for ways to encourage others. We can be helpful and we dedicate our entire lives to serving God no matter what it takes. Thanks for joining us, Kids Life. Can't wait to see you next week.